I have a massage gun, but it's kaput. But I don't want to throw it away. So this is going to be a teardown and repair video. Yes, it was only $24 and it has been working for many years. But these are not good reasons to trash it. Hey, but it works. Well, yes, for about three minutes. It used to be that charging once and then using for three days was the norm. Now I charge and I can use it for three minutes. So it's either the battery or something mechanical giving resistance. Let's check it out. Don't we all complain about how stuff nowadays is glued shut? Well, so question one, can we get into it? And the answer is yes, easily. It's just uh, five screws. On the control board, there are two plugs connected. One goes to the battery and one goes to the motor. This is how the rotations of the motor are being transformed into vibrations. There's just not enough space to push the connector down, the connector from the wire to the battery. So you have to take out the motor to get to the battery. It's a bit of a struggle to get the rod off, but it's possible. I say, wow, that's a really nice motor. It's a brushed DC motor. Yeah, if you ever find a broken massage gun, get the motor out and the electronics. These are the last three screws. They keep the front on. But strange thing is we don't have access to the battery yet. Taking off the rubber sleeve reveals nothing really. Uh, so how do we get to the battery? This black cap has to come off. But how? You cannot screw it off. There are no screws. You cannot pull it off. I hope it's not glued. So it turned out it was not glued, luckily. Uh, there's a sticker at the bottom and when you remove it, you'll get to three screws. Finally, there's the battery. It's a bit stuck in place because of anti-vibration tape. There's a trick, use a stick and push it out. It's still possible to charge the battery. Just connect the wire to BAT, B-A-T, and uh, charge it as normal. One lithium ion battery has a normal voltage of 3.7 volts. Two batteries in series makes 7.4 volts. The charger goes up to 8.4 volts. When the battery pack is fully charged, measuring an open circuit voltage of 8.2 volts is good. If the voltage of the battery is good, then maybe there's something wrong with the electronics or the motor. Well, the motor spins on all different speeds and it sounds really good. So what else could be the problem? Okay, let's test the rod. It has a ball bearing inside. If that's no good, that can give a lot of resistance. But yeah, see, it's super smooth, no resistance at all. What else could it be? Let's do an optical inspection of the electronics. 
See if there's a short circuit. Maybe something is toasted. The electronics board looks good. It's a bit dusty. We already know it works, but let's take another good look at it. In close-up, everything looks fine to me. Do you see anything weird, odd, broken, toasted? Yeah, it's dusty. I can clean that. But it looks alright. I don't know how to measure all the electronic parts, if they function alright. But I can appreciate some nice, shiny LEDs. Man, everything else seems to be fine. Is it the battery after all? But the voltage was good. Let's open it. There should be two lithium ion cells and one BMS, battery management system. Maybe the BMS is toasted? Let's check it out. Well, the batteries look good, there's nothing leaking. And the BMS, yeah, looks alright. So what could it be? There's not much we can do before putting it back together. The electronics port will clean that. And then there's the rod where it enters the front of the massage gun. There can be a lot of friction and there was no grease. So we'll put some grease there. Hey, but wait, maybe it's the charger. It came with a charger, a pretty cheap one, I would say. I have another charger, a better one. Let's compare. The charger should give 8.4 volts maximum. Let's check. Nah, they both give 8.4 volts. So, these are ok as well. We've put it all together again, charged it, and let's check the voltage. It's 8.2 volts, that's perfect. So, we did a complete teardown, but everything inside looked fine. The only thing we did was clean it a bit and put a bit of grease in. Now it's all back together. Let's see if it runs any longer than the around 3 minutes. Yeah, well, after 3 minutes, it is still working, but it is as good as dead. We're not using it, so the load is minimum. Nothing has improved. We should check the voltage of the battery. Checking, checking. What? 0 0.2 millivolts? That's not a low state of charge. That's nothing. Which means that the battery voltage has gone all the way down to below 6 volts. Then the BMS kicks in and shuts the battery pack down. Thus, after all, it is the battery. I see three options. One, buy a new battery pack and install it yourself. You know how now. Two, buy a better quality massage gun and save the motor, electronics and the charger of the old one. And number three, hack it. Yes, it can be hacked. Well, tricked is a better word. This massage gun works when you power it with the charger. That's not the way to do it, but it works. Normally the massage gun gets 7.4 volts. From the charger it gets 8.4. That's a bit much, so I would suggest to not use the highest settings. Be sure to calculate how much power your charger can deliver. It needs to be more powerful than the massage gun needs. Otherwise, you can get fire. This power supply is set on 8.4 volts. It can deliver 10 amperes, but it's delivering zero at the moment because nothing is connected. Now the power supply is connected to the massage gun 
and it's charging it with 0.4 ampere times 8.4 volts is 3.36 watts. This now is how to calculate the power use on all six levels, excluding the 0.4 ampere that goes to charging. The maximum power use on level 6 while running and charging is 15.12 watts. Note that when you really use it, you put a load on it, and then the power usage will be more. Of the two chargers I have, one is clearly too small, the other one is okay, but because the voltage is a bit higher now, I will not use level 5 and 6. I have a confession to make. I bought a new massage gun, a high quality massage gun. I did not want to buy a new low quality battery for a low quality massage gun. It's much quieter, one charge lasts me two weeks, the brushless motor is much better, the build quality is much better, easy to open I don't know yet, but I saw a good example online. The sound. I find that the sound of a machine tells a lot about its quality. So here, here. Thus what are your options if you have a similar massage gun with similar problems? You can put a new battery pack in it, you can hack it, you can take it apart to save the useful parts, or buy better quality. Now I have two that work, hmm, I can give the red one away, is that safe? I think so.